Yo, what is up guys, it's Pedro here. In today's video, I will be talking about the Washington Commanders expected to interview Rams assistant head coach slash tight end coach Thomas Brown and Miami assistant head coach slash running back coach Eric Studsfield next week. So we're going to talk about that and talk about both of these candidates and even the possibility of Greg Roman. So if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe for Washington and NFL content. It takes one second and, you know, just hit that button. And I know one person is not subscribed. So go ahead and do it and hit that like button and that notification bell. So we're, we are really getting deep into this offensive coordinator search. We're pretty much know all the candidates. There might be a few more, but we know the main ones and some of the guys that declined. And I listened to John Kahn's podcast today and he said that he thinks that by next Friday, we will know who the offensive coordinator is unless Frank Reich, Jim Schwartz, or Eric Bieniemy, who I don't think would come here. Even all of them, I don't think there's a, you know, a good chance. But let's say there's a possibility one of those guys wants to come to Washington. Well, the commanders might wait until the head coaching searches are done until they you know bring those guys in. But I don't think that's going to happen. But uh, we'll go in, into this news. I mean, we kind of knew Eric Studsfield. Uh, they requested him, and he's you know was Miami's assistant head coach and running backs coach. He's been a running backs coach for a while in this league, I believe. He was with the um, Broncos before and with three different head coaches in uh, Miami. So three different regimes came in, and they all really liked what he uh, you know had to bring. And you know players love him. I heard that. So and I think Nikki Jabala said something like a lot of players look at him like a father figure. So <clears throat> he's definitely a guy that would be a solid you know guy to bring in for a year and who knows maybe after that uh they can promote him to head coach I, that, we're going way too far out there but i think that he's a definitely a strong possibility for the commanders and then rams assistant head coach slash tight end coach thomas brown will be interviewed next week for the vacant offensive coordinator position so <clears throat> talked a little bit about eric studsfield's background and we talked about that in other videos as well but Thomas Brown is a relatively new name, so I want to give you guys some insight on that. So, uh, Brown also has received interest from the Texans for their opening head coaching job this year. He joined Sean McVay's coaching staff in 2020 as the running back coach. He was promoted to assistant head coach after one year coaching at the NFL level. This season, he switched to coaching um, tight, end, or tight ends, adding experience with coaching multiple positions on the offense some other background information on him he was a running back um, in college at georgia but his nfl career was brief and he you know was out of the league after three years started coaching in 2011 at georgia as a strength and conditioning coach and then became a running back coach at chattanooga and coach at marshall in wisconsin for a season before taking the job back at georgia in 2015 was an oc at miami in 2016 and coached a running back so he's a lot of college he has a lot of college background. Um, he, he had one or more running backs uh, coaching jobs at South Carolina two years later, and then was with Sean McVay and Shadow Hogshaven for all of this great information. So that's his background. He has a lot of college experience, played in college, played in the NFL for a few years, and Sean McVay likes him. I, the only thing that is a little bit concerning is that I believe they're not interviewing for uh, him for the offensive coordinator spot. I saw someone say that. I am not 100% sure on that. I'm not 100% sure on that. So if I'm wrong, uh, correct me in the comment section. But for me, that is a little bit concerning that, you know, on your own staff, you have a guy that's your assistant head coach and tight ends coach, and he's a young guy, and you're not interviewing him. <clears throat> I don't know. That's a little off to me, but maybe it's because Thomas Brown wants to um, pursue other opportunities and if that's the case that's great but Thomas Brown I like this candidate he's got to be I don't know let's see relatively young I mean he he moved to coaching in 2011 so he's probably in his 30s like mid 30s late 30s so he's he's young and that's what I want at the offensive coordinator position and someone who's not really a retread and he definitely would be one of those guys I'm sure the players respect him he really helped with Cam Akers resurgence in the second half of this year. So that is just something to consider as well. Has a lot of running back, uh, you know, he has a lot of experience with running backs, also some tight end experience this year as well, and played running back, the position of running back as well. So he's a candidate I honestly would not mind at all. He's one of the top ones that we've interviewed or, you know, 
requests an interview. Like, I'd rather have him than Pat Shermer and probably over Ken Zampezi as well. I mean, I don't absolutely hate Ken, uh, Ken Zampezi, but it's just like, it's just annoying to bring in a guy that's already on your team. But, you know, it is what it is. It's a one year, it's likely going to be a one year thing. But Thomas Brown is a guy that does interest me for sure, you know, with McVeigh and then some other guys. I mean, Eric Studs feels good. I don't know if his potential is crazy, but. The players are going to respect him, and he's probably going to do what Ron wants him to do. And that's a, you know, Eric Studsfield, he's going to run the football. And I'm, you know, interested to see with Thomas, too, what he would like to do. He, you know, he's a running back at heart, so, I mean, he might want to run the football as well. And that's what Ron is looking for. Speaking of running the football, Greg Roman, he, they mutually parted ways. The, uh, you know, Ravens and Greg Roman. And, of course, that comes, you know, after that happens, a lot of, uh, you know, fans and media bring up the question which is fair should the commanders interview greg roman for their you know oc job and a lot of people uh, think they should this is what uh, grant paulson says uh the commander should interview greg roman for their head co- or not head coaching job offensive coordinator job he is the best version of what they're looking for if they want to run the ball he'll help them do it and it'll get a lot out of sam howell's legs as well and sure that is true but at the same time you have Terry McLaurin, Jahan Dotson, and Curtis Samuel. You can even throw Deami Brown in there who really hasn't gotten many opportunities, but he's got talent. And if you have Greg Roman there, those guys are not going to like it. You saw what RG3 tweeted, and you got to take that with a grain of salt. But still, he played in that system for at least a couple years, maybe three years. And he said the you know, running backs, tight ends love it, but the, the receivers hate it. And I don't know. I just don't want to be in a situation where... Terry, Jahan, and Curtis are upset because they're barely getting the ball and they're asking to get, you know, block every single play. I don't know if I really like that. And um, so I think it is a possible, like, would I absolutely hate it? No, but I would want to switch up his scheme a little bit and pass more than Greg Roman did. And yeah, I mean, this is this is a good point right here from Al Galdi. Uh, Alex Smith, 2011 and 12. Colin Kaepernick, 12 to 14. Tyra Taylor, 2015. Lamar Jackson, 2019 and 20. Um, all those quality seasons happened with Greg Roman as offensive coordinator. Impressive track record with mobile QBs, and he could do very good things with Sam Howell. And that is a very good point. Sam Howell is a mobile quarterback. Quarterback, probably not, definitely not on the same level as Lamar or or C- C- Colin Kaepernick. Probably around the same mobility as Tyrod or Alex Smith. Alex Smith very you know, underrated with his legs. Like he was pretty quick and got a bunch of yards when he, um, in his prime, not here, of course, but in his prime, he was pretty quick. So maybe Greg Roman could do that with Sam Howell. Maybe I, I don't feel strongly either way. I just don't, I don't like the philosophy of running the football as much as they want. They want two to one. That's ridiculous. But even like 60%, 55%, I think is ridiculous. I think a you know, 45% running the football is more realistic or yeah, or 50, 50, but even 50, 50, that's, that's a lot running a football. 50% of the time is a lot. And when you have receivers like we do, and we have good running backs, but also like Gibson can, you know, he can catch the football pretty well as well. And Robinson can as well. Like he can do it. You know, he's solid at it. So like they've got too much talent at the, you know, the receiver position, even the running back position in terms of catching the football, to run the football at the two to one ratio, which I, I think they, you know, kind of over exaggerated it, but you still get their point. You still get their point. But if they want to really, really run the football, Greg Roman would be an option. Charles London, who coached for the Falcons this year, who I believe led the league in running or percentage. I mean, that would make sense as well. And it there's a theme. They're they're interviewing a lot of running backs coaches or guys with uh, backgrounds with running backs. I mean, I think Charles London has a background with running backs. Eric Studsfield does, and uh, Thomas Brown does as well. So that's, you know, a lot of guys with uh, backgrounds, you know, in running back. Yeah, so that's just something to consider. Some other kind of news, John Payne made the Pro Bowl. Love to see that. Um, Definitely deserved 11 half sacks. He replaced Aaron Donald, who's injured. And then one other thing, the rumor about Eric Bieniemy. I don't know. I would love it, but uh, that's from Ben Albright, who does have some good sources. But I just don't think it's going to happen. I think you know? I think that he is on a one-year deal with uh, with the Chiefs. But I still 
I mean, I would like to have him here, and he has a running back track record as well, but I don't think it's going to happen, and I think we're going to end up with one of these guys, maybe Thomas Brown or Eric Studsfield, Charles London, or it could be a retread or a guy that's already in our building like Pat Shermer or Ken Zampezi. So we'll see. Uh, we'll probably know next week. So yeah, that is it for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you guys are new, and hit the, you know, yeah, turn that notification bell on, and I will probably be streaming tomorrow. Peace, guys.